Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you have a wonderful day today. We're gonna be checking out a video here uh, from Decoy Voice. We've watched uh, one or two from him before. Um, link to his channel will be in the description. So y'all please make sure y'all show him some love. The title of the video is, it is, Fleet Video Shows Professor Threatening Students. To vote for Kamala Harris. Uh, I seen a piece of this and it is kind of like odd. Like, dude has got problems. A professor at the University of Kansas just got what caught in class saying this. It's what frustrates me. There are going to be some males in our society that will refuse to vote for a potential fe female president because they don't think females are smart enough to be president. We could line all those guys up and they clearly don't understand the way the world works. Did I say that? I, it scratch that. That's actually uh, right after what he's about to say is where I stopped it. Yeah, like, listen, for real, listen to this right here. Line all those guys up and they clearly. Line all them up and, mm hmm That's execution. Don't understand the way the world works. Did I say that? I, it scratched that from the recording. I don't want the deans hearing that I said that. Right. And the replies were filled with, I'd vote for a female president. Kamala's just not one of them because her policies are terrible. And more importantly, she's incapable of doing the job. Also, that's true. Like, it's got nothing to do with her being a female. It's got to do with her being lost. I'm sure she is a smart person. You ain't gonna get to where you, she is just by um, knowing who you blow. You gotta be smart and know what you're doing. It's just, this is not the job for her. This is way too high level. So was vice president. It's just too high level of a job for her. She can't handle it. She can't handle... Uh, in my opinion, her biggest thing is she can't do public speaking. The woman is scared of crowds. She can't talk to people. That's a problem. So pointing out how the professor knew he was being recorded, but still openly said this. So how quickly did they go from true. the party of love, inclusion, and fighting fascism to vote for the political candidate that the establishment installed or be lined up and blasted? And what's worse is this public school professor that the taxpayers fund felt completely confident in saying this as long as he hides his fascist ideals behind diversity. Saying submit to the government's public demands school, or else you are sexist makes no sense when conservatives love Carrie Lake, liberals love Tulsi Gabbard, and most Gen Z men would unironically vote for a Sydney Sweeney presidency. But all jokes aside, anybody aggressively claiming you're a sexist or racist is usually projecting their own hidden opinions as every now and then their mask slips. As this professor racist. claiming men don't think a woman could be qualified. Hey, like legit, I got this very odd question because how I was raised, I grew up raised by just my mom, single parent. Uh... How is like how is their that? own hidden opinions as every now and then their mask slips as it Whoops. would unironically vote for a Sydney Sweeney presidency. But all jokes aside, anybody aggressively claiming you're a sexist or racist is usually projecting yeah, their own hidden okay. opinion. My fault. That the the sexist and the racist thing, like why is everything that stuff now? That's just getting stupid. That is getting beyond stupid, 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 stupid. Look, if someone doesn't like you, it's probably not because your skin color. It's probably not because of if you're a dude or a woman. It's probably your attitude. I just, I don't know. Racism exists, sexism exists, but it's not as bad as everybody thinks because people have completely just slaughtered the word. Like the word has none of those words have meaning anymore. We gotta got, we gotta come up with another word that actually has depth to the seriousness of it. Opinions as every now and then their mask slips. 
As this professor claiming men don't think a woman could be qualified as president is snitching on himself sexist. through the soft bigotry of low expectations. He's seeing Kamala being incapable of answering questions, following through on campaign promises, or even sticking to one accent. And if he's thinking, attacking her objective failures is an attack on all females really means he believes none of them are capable of doing any better. Mm. But being a useful idiot is nothing new. The real question- Hey, that's a good point right there. He, he's, uh... Saying that they basically, the dude is, not him, the professor is like a, all women got herd mentality, which is, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Men have a herd mentality, if anything question is what is making them so violent <laughs> i think it's because whenever you turn on your tv your favorite sports star is endorsing harris and if you don't watch sports then your favorite musician is supporting her too then the news media on the internet says the other guy is literally hitler the legacy print media echoes that same sentiment and even international news outlets parrot those same talking points then you what that say right there Oh, it's Neo. Neo, not okay. Neo Nazis, KKK, Ramsonists. Why? We? Donald? Is that okay? That must be a okay. That's another language. Yeah, man, this ain't cool. See, like this is what takes stuff too far. Uh, you know, it's not like I ain't getting no spirit conspiracy theories, but it's not like a. It's not like the party is really going at them. It's saying shit like this right here that is making people that are uh, those pink hair fucking guys that want to run around and that like, oh. Like, they get pushed over the edge. I mean, that's realistically what it is. They're getting pushed over the edge on purpose. Let's parrot those same talking points. Then you go to a public college like the University of Kansas, and the professor tells you, comply or die. So for the sake of a simple thought exercise, pretend you were a weak-willed individual, completely controlled by your emotions, that only feels comfortable within a group that completely validates every single value you have. And if you were in that fearful voter group, it would actually be pretty easy to manipulate you into acting like a cornered animal. Meanwhile, everybody in the middle just wants to turn down the political temperature as once you get off the internet and interact with real people outside 99% of the time politics never comes up we work together play sports together Thanks. and even hook up with each other without knowing it the problem being even our establishments are trying to perpetuate this angry divisive behavior as the last Twitter post from the University of Kansas we'll touch on something he said a minute ago he don't want uh he was he touched bases on how he don't like yes men around and I uh, Hey, uh, most men do not want yes men around. We want to be told no and what we're doing wrong. It's the only way that we're going to make sure, for one, that we get better, and two, that we don't end up killing ourselves by doing something stupid. Like, I don't know, jumping off of a bridge, literally. Kansas got bombarded with outrage replies about that professor. And when asked about it, the university stated this happened earlier this semester. So on their public post, they admitted it was inappropriate, putting him on leave. But since his intent was for women's rights and equality, they will follow their established process, turning off replies to their comment. So he Oh, so they didn't even, they didn't even do nothing. It had to get called out first, even though it was on their video. Even after our president took an actual bullet to the head, when their professor suggests the same be done to his supporters, as long as he's doing it under the guise of wokeness, this public university will protect him, as hopefully he will be fired and barred from the profession, but the university couldn't help themselves but to attempt to mitigate his statement. Because the worst part about all of this that's going unnoticed is the administration said this occurred earlier in the semester, and only after it went viral online, then did they begin to address it. Which makes me wonder how many public schools are saying the same exact things that don't go viral while these universities conveniently look the other way. So if you appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality, hopefully I've earned your subscription, then go check out the video on the real reason why they won't let Kamala do interviews anymore. <laughs> I 
I could do this video of y'all. I, I might do this video here. Uh, I've seen some videos. I'm not sure if I've seen this one from him, but uh, videos on uh, specifically this one at the time. It just like went out and she just started with she was. Man, she was talking about Magic Johnson. Like, you couldn't even, like, come up with some stuff for filler. And she just kept saying the word 32. 32. 32. 32. 32. Hey, if y'all wouldn't mind, please peep above my head right there. Helps out a whole lot. Please jump over to that channel, though, and get that man a subscribe. If I'm not mistaken, those t-shirts he's wearing, he got that stuff for sale. Uh, don't quote me on it. I think so. So if you liked it, maybe copy one of that. Uh, comment down below if you thought it was all right or not. Uh, also do the same over there with him. And that's it. Do it, y'all. Hey, much love and respect. I will catch y'all later.